Local tomato farmers seeing dying crops and low yields due to multiple issues with their growth this season. Yes, ABC 4's Ali Rulian visited one of the farms with a harvest that's falling short. She spoke to farmers about what exactly is going wrong. Farmers say that this year has been one unlike any other. Take, for example, all of these tomato plants you see around me. They've had to be replanted because of viruses, diseases, and especially this high heat. Experts and farmers say that Mother Nature this year had such sporadic conditions that has led to an extremely low crop yield. This year is, I think, safe to say about a year like we've never seen before. Chris Riley of Riley's U Pick Farm has been a farmer his whole life. But this year, the extreme weather conditions are causing crops to suffer more than ever, especially tomatoes. By this time of the year, on a normal year, we should have picked, I would say, roughly 3,000 boxes of tomatoes and shipped them out of here to, to other local markets and other parts of the state. Um, and this year, we've, I don't, know, I don't think we've even hit 100. Experts point to three causes. High winds in the spring blew beet leaf hopper pests onto tomatoes, causing them to contract the curly top virus. And the leaves will start to turn light green and curl. And then over a period of two to four weeks, the tomato dies. Then heavy rains in June likely caused roots to rot. The tomatoes contracted these fungal diseases in the roots because of that cool, wet soil, which they're not accustomed to. And these high heats are not only killing off flower buds before they can even become tomatoes, healthy tomatoes can't ripen until it's cooler, all contributing to a lower yield that's hurting local farmers. I would say it'll be, you know, in the hundreds of thousands of, of what our revenue loss will be for the year. Farmers telling customers they simply can't make up for the crops they've lost, but they're still doing what they can to provide local produce. It's a good thing farmers are passionate about what we do because if you, if you weren't, nobody would be nuts enough to <laughs> stay in this business. Cause it's just a... And though this year has been difficult on farmers, they're hopeful for next year. Maybe get things back to normal. Reporting in Santa Quinn, I'm Ali Orulian, ABC4 News.